it's working. Hi guys, so I'm just doing the intro at the end of what I just recorded and this is a, an audio test with some microphones that I have so if it goes in and out of focus, don't mind it, it's just the microphone test today. So enjoy the video and let me know what you think. Okay, hi guys. So I'm just testing the new camera, the Canon C100 Mark II. And uh, since my last video gained a lot of views and I had a lot of uh, very nice answer and comments to it, I just want to do more tests, do more tests with it, and just to release more content with this camera because I find it just awesome. I've shot a wedding with it, and I am so happy because. Coming from mirrorless and DSLR cameras, having the C100 with all the buttons, with the ND, internal ND filters, and um, the great audio quality with the XLR input, it's just a day and night uh, comparison between a proper cinema camera, the C100 Mark II, and the EOS R or the A7 III or the GH5. So, yeah. Right now I'm shooting with the famous Sigma 18 to 35 f1.8. I'm at f2 and uh, I'm in autofocus. So when I'm like this, it focuses on myself. But I've uh, seen that it may do some steps and not catch me very well. So I will try to manually focus on myself. See here, I'm not focused. I'm back. So, but. At least if I have great audio, you can still uh, understand what I say. I just have the NTG5 on it and it's just on the camera, so it's maybe at one meter and a half from me right now. And I have a uh, Tiffen Black Promise filter on it. Uh, yeah, I just do too much, but uh, I just want to release this quick test. I want to try uh, the microphones because I was really impressed with the uh, top handle microphone of the C100 Mark II in the footage that uh, you may have seen uh, of the, the family uh, day that I published uh, a couple of weeks ago. And I'm shooting also with the uh, all color uh, profile. I will do a comparison between uh, the proper C-Log in the camera and the color profile of uh, Kenny. Uh, Mac Milan, I think. Oh, yeah, I'm not in focus again. So maybe uh, don't use the autofocus uh, too much with this lens because I've seen that on the 24mm f1.4 Sigma uh, for full frame, I also have some troubles with the autofocus in the, on the shooting day. I uh, had some, some quirks. I think you said it, say it like that. But uh, with all the Canon L series lenses that I have, uh, there is no problem at all with the autofocus. It just works perfectly. And uh, I will just uh, do a test at 18 millimeter. Maybe it will be better at 18 because I can be closer to the mic. Uh, I hope the sound quality is still great because it's a pretty expensive mic so <laughs> if it doesn't work at all right now I don't have the big wind muff on it so there is a slight breeze 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 uh, right now I'm just outside my, my house and um, yeah let's try the other let's try the other microphone so I just want the, to try the cheap Rode video micro and also the unbroad uh, top handle microphone because I, as I said, Kenny Macmillan, uh, the guy that released the color profile for, for this camera, uh, commented and said that he was really impressed with the top handle quality of uh, the sound of the top handle. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch to the Rode Video Micro and then to the top handle. Okay, so I was just editing the piece of footage that I shot with the Rode Video Micro and it seems that it doesn't work at all with this camera because the microphone jack, the jack port on the camera doesn't deliver any power. So only XLR or powered microphone. I think it's just like this. So yeah, don't make the same mistake that I did. I'm lucky enough that it's not on a set. So yeah, I'm happy and back to the video. 
All right, and now we are back with the top handle focus. Yeah, so we are just uh, listening to the top handle of the camera and uh, I'm at 35 millimeter, about one meter and 20 centimeters, one meter and a half away. And I'm going at, back at 18 millimeter and I can stand closer to the microphone. So I'm just seeing that the levels look looks great so yeah let me know what you think guys of those microphone the first one was the inti g5 it's a 500 dollars uh, microphone the second one was a 50 dollar microphone and the last one is just with the camera but i was really impressed with it and i hope that it worked well today the next video will be about uh, the c-log profile versus the old bot profile what i find works great for me i'm really impressed with the color profile we i'm it's hard for me to speak in english because i haven't practiced a lot lately and because i haven't been traveling uh, everyone i guess and so uh, those videos are also for me uh, some lessons to try to get back on my feet when it i don't know where the sentence is going so yeah, I just want to improve my English and speak again in front of the camera. So if I'm just looking there, it's because I have the flip screen, which is really nice to have. And I know that I should just focus on the lens, but yeah, I'm not perfect. I'm just trying and I'm rising. I hope, I guess. I hope at least that <laughs> I'm trying to rise. So I will see you guys in the next episode. And remember, we are rising.